It starts as something almost impossibly small, an organ no larger than a clenched fist, tucked quietly beneath the pelvis, hidden behind bone and muscle. For most of life, the uterus is still, compact, almost unnoticed. And yet, in the span of nine short months, it will attempt one of biology's most astonishing transformations. How does an organ grow 500 times its original volume without tearing? How does a structure built from delicate muscle become a shelter strong enough to house a developing human? And how does it expand, stretch, reshape and rearrange every neighbouring organ, yet return almost miraculously to its original form after birth? This is not ordinary growth. This is biological architecture at its peak. An interplay of hormones, muscle fibres, blood supply and microscopic remodelling. Every day of pregnancy, the uterus listens, adapts, strengthens. Its walls thin while its size multiplies. Its cells reorganise with mathematical precision. The placenta fuses into its lining, forming an ecosystem of nutrients and oxygen. And while the abdomen stretches outward, inside the uterus transforms from a quiet chamber into the central stage of creation. We are about to witness one of the most dramatic expansions in the human body, an organ rewriting its own design in real time. This isn't just anatomy. This is evolution's masterpiece, unfolding millimetre by millimetre. Let's go inside. To understand how the uterus grows 500 times in pregnancy, we must begin with what it looks like before conception. The non-pregnant uterus weighs about 50 to 70 grams, small, muscular, pear-shaped. Its walls are thick, its cavity barely large enough to hold a few millilitres of fluid. Most of this organ is composed of smooth muscle, known as the myometrium, wrapped around an inner lining called the endometrium. But the moment a fertilised egg implants into the endometrial lining, the hormonal landscape begins to shift. Oestrogen and progesterone rise rapidly. Blood vessels dilate. Cells in the uterine wall start dividing, stretching and reorganising. The uterus has two methods of growth. One, hyperplasia. Cells multiply. Two, hypertrophy. Cells enlarge. Both begin immediately. The myometrial muscle fibres thicken and elongate. Collagen, one of the key structural proteins, loosens and rearranges in spiralling patterns, allowing the walls to stretch without tearing. The organ's blood supply expands dramatically, with new vessels sprouting to support the developing placenta. As the embryo becomes a foetus, the uterus slowly rises from the pelvis. By the end of the first trimester, it climbs into the lower abdomen. By the third trimester, it reaches the ribcage. The once small pelvic organ now pushes aside intestines, lifts the diaphragm and reshapes the abdominal cavity. Yet, despite growing larger every week, the uterus maintains a delicate balance. Thick enough to contract safely, flexible enough to stretch, and vascular enough to provide constant nourishment. But this is only the beginning. The real magic happens when we zoom in to the microscopic world, where cells transform, fibres realign, and an organ expands with exquisite control. The expansion of the uterus is a cellular symphony each component responding to hormonal cues with perfect timing. 1. Myometrial transformation. Smooth muscle fibres within the uterus are unlike any other in the body. 
during pregnancy, they undergo both hyperplasia and hypertrophy. Individual fibres grow from 50 micrometres in length to nearly 500 micrometres, a tenfold increase. They grow thicker as well, enabling the uterus to stretch while maintaining strength for later contractions. These fibres arrange themselves in three layers, longitudinal, circular and oblique, forming a supportive web that resists tearing even under massive tension. The architecture becomes more elastic as collagen fibres loosen, allowing the organ to grow without losing integrity. 2. The expanding blood supply. The uterus develops one of the body's richest vascular networks during pregnancy. Spiral arteries open wide, increasing blood flow up to 20 times their usual level. These vessels deliver oxygen and nutrients not only to the uterus, but to the placenta, a temporary organ that binds directly into the uterine wall. 3. Placental integration. As pregnancy advances, the placenta grows into the endometrium, transforming the lining into a complex exchange system. Nutrients move from maternal blood to fetal blood without ever mixing directly, a miracle of micro-engineering. Meanwhile, the placenta sends hormonal signals that further stimulate uterine expansion. 4. Mechanical stretch sensors. As the fetus grows, stretch-sensitive cells in the myometrium detect increasing tension. These cells respond by activating pathways that promote more hypertrophy and more elasticity. In this way, the uterus quite literally grows in response to pressure, adapting to the baby's size week by week. 5. The protective layering. Despite thinning from 3 cm to just a few millimetres, the uterine wall remains incredibly strong. The climax of the uterus's journey is the moment it must reverse its purpose, from a sanctuary of expansion to a powerhouse of contraction. Throughout pregnancy, the uterus grows quietly, responding to hormones and stretch. But as birth approaches, the entire system pivots. Oxytocin receptors multiply across myometrial cells, making the uterus exquisitely sensitive to the hormone that will trigger labour. Gap junctions, tiny channels connecting muscle cells, open in massive numbers, turning millions of fibres into a single coordinated unit. The organ that once expanded gracefully now becomes the strongest muscle per weight in the entire body. Contractions begin, gentle at first. Muscle fibres shorten and thicken. They contract in waves from the top downward, pressing the foetus toward the birth canal. With each contraction, blood flow shifts, pressure rises, and the uterus becomes a living engine, compressing, releasing, preparing. Even during the intensity of labour, the uterus protects itself. Between contractions, the muscle relaxes just enough to restore oxygen flow. The spiral arteries constrict rhythmically to prevent excessive bleeding. And yet, the most astonishing moment arrives after birth. An organ that grew 500 times now begins shrinking at a stunning pace. Within minutes, powerful postpartum contractions, driven by oxytocin, compress blood vessels to prevent hemorrhage. Within a week, the uterus reduces by half. By six weeks, it nearly returns to its original size. Few organs in biology transform so dramatically, so repeatedly, or so precisely. The uterus does not simply expand, it evolves, adapts, strengthens, and then rewrites itself once again.
The expansion of the uterus during pregnancy is not only a physical transformation, it is a story of resilience, design, and the extraordinary engineering of the human body. An organ the size of a small fruit becomes a shelter large enough to hold new life. It stretches without tearing, strengthens without stiffening, and coordinates millions of microscopic decisions without conscious control. Every fibre grows with intention, every vessel widens with purpose, every cell listens to signals that guide this transformation, and then, just as remarkably, it returns home, shrinking, healing, repairing. As if quietly reminding the body that change is temporary, but resilience is permanent. This journey reveals more than anatomy. It reveals adaptability. It shows how the body can shift from protection to power, from expansion to contraction, from growth to release. It shows the intelligence of biology, not in thoughts or words, but in structure and function. The uterus is often discussed only in the context of reproduction. Yet its transformation is one of the greatest demonstrations of biological design. It is a testament to how life builds, expands, integrates and then restores. The story of uterine expansion is the story of possibility. How something small becomes vast how something flexible becomes strong, and how the body prepares the world for new beginnings. In witnessing this growth, we glimpse the quiet brilliance of human evolution and the extraordinary capacity for change held within us all.